Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we will talk about nomenclature of consonants. By now, we have talked about distinguishing features of consonants in which we talked about place of articulation, manner of articulation, and voicing. We see now, based on these three featured characteristics, all the consonants are different from each other. So now it's easier to name all the consonants on the basis of these three distinguishing features. IPA requires specific names for all the symbols and diacritics used in the alphabet. So we see that all of the sounds are different from each other. So these all sounds need some representation and some certain name to distinguish one consonant from the other. Hence, it is desirable to distinguish an IPA symbol, one consonant, from the sound it is intended to represent. Since it's not one of one correspondence between symbol and a sound, so we see that each alphabet and each sound does not correspond. That's why it is important to name each consonant based on its distinguishing features. To name a consonant, we need all these three characteristics. First of all, we write whether it is voiced or it's voiceless. Then we talked about what is its place of articulation, for example, bilabial, velar, palatoalveolar, and whatsoever is the place of articulation is for that sound. Then we write about its manner of articulation. We tell whether it is plosive, it is fricative, or affricative, and so on. The technical names of consonant tell all these three things. Their state, either they are voiced or voiceless, their place of articulation, and the manner they are articulated. Okay, the technical names follow the same order. For example, f. How do we name F a consonant? It is a voiceless labiodental fricator. Okay, so these are three of the qualities of F sound, and this is how we name it. So this is the name of this particular consonant. If we name all the consonants that we discussed according to these three characteristics, we see that no two consonants have the similar name because one of these three qualities would at least be different. So let's, here is an exercise for you. Okay, so you have to tell what is the consonant which is voiced, bilabial, and plosive, and so on. You can pause this video and then do this exercise. Recall all the consonants that fill in this criteria and what is the name. Here are the answers. If you have any questions from the nomenclature or any confusion, you can comment or we can note down for the discussion in the live session. Thank you.